Viewer's discretion is advised. What's good? Daddy C back in the office, here once again to drop some more bomb life advice based on experience on how to be a masculine, successful, full stack man, yada yada yada. Anyways, you guys know the drill, let's get into it. First, you're probably wondering, why the fuck should I listen to you? Like, who the hell are you to tell me how to act? The answer is, because you're broke as shit and don't have a 12 pack like I do. You understand me? No one else on this planet is more qualified than I am to mentor you on your developmental journey. Half the guys I talk to, you could categorize as the same level as me in life, don't even know how to self-tag their bag at the airport, okay? Like, you know, the little piece you have to peel at the back of the paper? They're fucking clueless. Clueless! They have to ask for some assistance from some girl working at the kiosk to show them how to do it, or even do it for them. And we all know asking for help is weak! Weak people ask for help, okay? So, anyways. The first step for you weaklings to manifest any sort of masculinity in life is to realize that other people are objects. Your survival as a man is predicated on extracting as much use from the people around you as much as possible. How the fuck do you think cavemen evolved to become the beautiful creature known as the human? Sitting around a campfire in a damp cave with their caveman tribe and singing Ooga Booga until dawn? No! Dominance hierarchy, motherfucker! These dudes fought over sticks and rocks, persevered and established power over others of their own kind, only to climb that hierarchy to acquire what they thought to be a sexy cavewoman bitch. Yeah, okay, this is nothing new. Um, um, sir? Hold on, hold on, cut! What the hell is it now, Audrey? This is the fourth time today. We're in the middle of a damn recording session here, not a meet and greet. It's, um, well... If it's Stacy again, tell her to watch paint dry. I've got too much on my plate today. No, sir, it's, um... I already dicked her down like seven times this week. She can masturbate tonight and be fine. The vibrators of varying sizes are even the seventh story closet if she wants. I, um... Alright, fine! I'll admit it! I don't want to screw Stacy anymore! I signed the divorce papers already! No, sir, it's Blair from China Core Tech. The sponsorship, remember? He's downstairs and would like to speak with you. Oh. So Blair wants to screw me. I did offer him that 750 k on the company's shareholder deal, after all. Anyone on the receiving end of that deal would be head over heels for me. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Anyone, like, you know, I would too. Nope, absolutely not. I would not fuck you. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't have anything to, to do with, with Oh, that. well, I just thought since you and Stacy are supposedly done with each other. Yeah, no, I I have higher standards than that. That's, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't. Uh, um. Audrey, remember, we have a boss and employee relationship, not a husband and wife one. Just because I tell you to do things doesn't make me your daddy, okay? We can't improve the lives of millions of men if I'm running every facet of this business. Efficiency and getting shit done is a priority, understood? Um, uh, I think it does. <laughs> now go get Blair. Yes, daddy. N never do that again. I, uh, just... See me in the employee's bathroom at midnight tonight if you want to race. Alright, jeez. <clears throat> Why does life have to be so hard? Anyways, <clears throat> everyone, the second skill you must master to become a true masculine man in life is to turn down all romantic advances from women, because love is for the weak. A true strong man with his life together does not need love. He is one with himself, like I am. You hear me? All of you are the 99% and I am the 1%. You are all nothing and I am everything. I am a true man. I am full stack. What the hell is going on? There's a fire, man. It's bad. 
Whoa, what? Why? I tried frying some eggs again, man. It went all wrong. Where's the fire extinguisher? I don't fucking know. This ain't a fire department. You carry it, I'll spray. Take this, motherfucker. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Shite. I, I can't last. I, I can't last for much longer. Let's see. Medical bill for the golf cart incident. Don't care. IRS taxes. Don't give a fuck. Sexy magazine. That's for the keeping. Of course you'd say that. Uh, I think this is your package. Oh, bloody finally. What even the hell is it? It's all 27 editions of Hyperspace X Revolution anime- Never mind, I don't want to know. I think that's everything. Oh, wait. There's one more in here. Hi, you are receiving this letter due to an overdue rent payment of seven months. As a result, you are required by law to leave blah 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 blah. Anything important? Nah, just some dumb letter from our landlord. Uh, what does he want? Some shit about not paying rent and how we'll have to leave or whatever. Oh. Wait, what? What? That's important adult stuff, dude! We could get kicked out! Chill out, bro, we could. Bollocks, let me see the letter! This is an eviction letter. If you do not submit your rent transaction of $70,000 digitally or via mail by the end of the week, I will have the SWAT team personally come and escort you out of the premises. Whatever. People say a lot of shit but don't do it. Every month I say we're gonna pay rent, but do we? No. No, we do not. I will also be arriving personally to my property at some point in the reading of this letter to check up on the state of things. During the reading of this letter? fuck is he on about? I suggest you turn around. Morning boys, enjoy the letter I wrote for you two? Uh, actually no. There were a handful of grammatical issues and- Shut the fuck up. Mr. Woodsworth, what the fuck is good with you? Oh, Jacoby, don't you recall the lease stating smoking is prohibited on the property, right? Not to mention I don't appreciate being addressed with the vulgar language. I talk how I want to on my property. This is my property! I decide what goes around here! That... That was my last cigarette. Now I gotta get more. Well, I would save your income on more important things. Like this month's rent bill you owe me! We actually owe you for the past seven months as well. Shut the fuck up! Uh, yeah, we'll get you the money soon. Soon! Next time! Eventually! How many times, Jacoby, have I heard that? Well, like I said, probably around seven times because we're seven months due on rent- Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, Oliver! Uh, yeah, well, we actually meet it this time. Do you? And what are your boys' main streams of income? Selling crack? Uh, I just live yet. I let him handle bills. Oh, how promising. Surely that'll be enough for you two to earn $70,000 by the end of the week. I know, right? We just have our shit together, don't we? No, you don't, Jacoby. Listen, if you two cannot pay your dues by the end of this month, I am legally required to kick you guys out. You two become homeless. Out on the streets! You understand? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Yes, sir. We understand. We'll get you the money in the allotted time. Lovely. Well, I'm looking forward to when that time comes. Not only because I get paid, and my seven-month starving family finally gets to eat, but maybe you two can turn your lives around. Well, I'm off. Have a nice rest of your day, fellas. So, what do we do now? We get to work on earning that money. You nods! You utterly suck at this game! Go lab, then come back when you actually obtain some modicum of skill! <laughs> Fuck you nods! Bloody blighter! <coughs> <coughs> Shit. Hey, uh, I wasn't listening. How much did he say we owe? Seventy thousand dollars. Something tells me we should probably get started.
You made some good sales today, Oliver. Yo, brother, I made some bank today. Legally, of course. You kid me not. What's the amount? Like $300 or some shit. Astounding. Yeah. Only $69,700 to go. Huh? A letter? From Mr. Woodsworth again. Aw, oh, shit. Hello, boys. Well, decided, decided to, to send, send you another letter after checking up with you this morning. Aw, oh, how considerate. He's not considerate. He's a fucking creep is what he is. I've noticed the $312 you have made today. In the jar. On the kitchen table. To your left. You're now looking at it. Wait, how does he... When does he write these letters? Shush, I'm still reading. Anyways, great job on the earnings. I have no doubt you will be able to pay me by the deadline. As a result of your massive successes, I have decided to bring forward the rent deadline by 10 days. You are now required to pay me by March 21st as opposed to the 31st. Looking forward until then, boys, good luck. Are you shitting me? We only made not even a fraction of the quota, and he thinks we can pay him the 70k by a sooner deadline? Yes, I do, Jacoby. What? You're fucking crazy. I have a family to feed, as well as new private jets to fly. With the money you give me, <laughs> Cut that shit out. Sorry. So, how much time now do we got to get that 70k? 19 days. Yeah, we got time. To be continued.